You can. She's not like, let me back these people. No, it's in here. Alright, show, show me your toys. Go on its truck thing. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, and we are going to launch a boat onto water. Okay. Yes. Let's see you do it. Can I come in for a you guys? Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. Um, give you an update. We, we're here at a local, our local KOA campground, testing out the repairs that were made uh, by Crowder RV. Um, looks like they did a good job. Looks like everything is uh, working as it should. So. We just wanted to test it at our local campground before we head out across the country. Um, and everything's looking good. The only thing they haven't fixed is the awning light, uh, which they said would take two weeks to come in. So um, hopefully we get that before, but it's not, a very, it's not a really big deal. We can live without an awning light. Uh, the main thing was the propane, the propane issue, so... But yeah, we're here at our local KOA. I think we're gonna do it another night. We're having a lot of fun. The wife is uh, the wife and the little boys building a gingerbread house, and she's in there fixing breakfast. So, but anyways, I uh, figured I'd give you guys an update, and uh, yeah, so I'll uh, give you a little tour of the outside of the camper here. We've got. Uh, Let's see. Up there's the master bedroom. Here's the propane tanks. Let me check those. Oh yeah, very, very good. No need to. So everything's looking good there. It's the water heater. It's the front door. Here's where we put our fill our tank, our freshwater tank. Here's the outlet for the propane furnace. Here's where we hang the outside TV. Uh, that's our uh, refrigerator outlet. It's got a fold out awning that comes out this way and that's where that awning light is. If you can see that little strip, that's what went bad. Uh, here's the rear door. This is access to the uh, to the uh, bathroom to this bathroom here. This is an outdoor kitchen. This flips up. You've got a refrigerator and a sink and for an outdoor kitchen there. Uh, this is your outdoor shower. Spare tire. It's where your cable or your dish network, we've got dish network, it's where your dish network plugs in. There's the backslide to the, the little boy's bunk room. Here's where the power plugs in. Here's the sewer, <laughs> sewer plug, you got gray water and you got black water. Matter of fact, I gotta close that black water valve. Of course, I got the, the upgraded rims. Here's the main slide out. This is the one that's got the kitchenette and the love seat. Here's your flush out tanks. These were, this was what was leaking under the sinks. If you'd hook here, it would leak under the sink. This is your city water connection. If I wanted to hook to their water over there, I could hook here, but we're running on the on the uh, tank right now because it's so cold outside. This has got the winter package, so everything is inside the uh, insulation. Here's our other propane tank. This is where we had the leak. Um, right here, here something happened I guess manufacturing wise and 
they something got under that and broke that so but this tank's good now it's not leaking they fixed it all right there it is hooked to the truck and here's we've got all of our controls for retract we got a light under here docking light sure those right there see them on so you can see in that mirror to hook yourself up but yeah and I keep this is my this is my garage away from home that's where I keep all my tools and all that kind of stuff so I'll walk up here and get a good view of it so that you guys know what our rig looks like when we're rolling down the road I know uh, my wife's channel, Life on Dogwood Lane, we're going to be doing a lot of the interior and my channel will be a lot of the maintenance, a lot of the maintenance and a lot of the, a lot of that kind of stuff. So her channel is Life on Dogwood Lane, if you want to search it and of course you know mine, GJD Garage, so, but anyway. I'm going to get in here and eat some breakfast, so have a good one.